everyone, it's Steph from the Kula Crew. Today I'll be creating a canvas print at kulapix.com. Let's go over to photo gifts, select canvas prints, and here I'm going to choose my size and orientation. The sizes begin at 8 by 12 and go all the way up to 24 by 36 inches. I'm going to select a 20 by 30 landscape canvas and hit continue. And now it brings me to a theme page. If you want to get creative and design your own from scratch, choose the design your own template. Within each of the themes are sub themes and then matching templates. I'm going to be making a wedding canvas. So under occasions, select wedding and I'm going to choose veil as my template. I'm going to select build it and it is now launching the canvas builder. I'm now going to choose if I want to upload new photos or if I want to use already uploaded photos that I have saved in my albums. And I already have my photos, so let's select my albums, choose the folder where they are saved, and I can either select one by one, select all, or deselect all. Select these ones here, and at the top you'll notice I have three selected out of one to 20 photos needed. Let's select continue, and now choose if you want to manually place your photos into the project by yourself or have it autofill into the layouts for you. I'm going to select autofill and it will build the canvas with my selected photos. And as you've noticed, autofill grabs a layout that perfectly matches my photos. On the artboard of the canvas, around the edges is a lighter area. This is the wrap of the canvas, so anything that you place over here will not be visible from the front. You can also see this by going over to the bottom left and there is a mini rendering of your canvas. Let's double click. Here you can click and flick. It's a great way to see if anything has gone off the sides. Perfect. To go back to the artboard, you can either double click or go up to the top and switch between the 3D icon and the artboard icon. Now I'm going to go over to layouts and see which other layouts are available with the three photos. I'm going to drag on this one here and if I've already made design changes or added any text they will be lost. So even though this is a landscape photo I can make it work within a vertical frame by just shifting it over. Now I actually just want to use this photo for the canvas so let's go back down look at the one photo layouts and I'm going to drag this one on. Now it just picks any of the photos that I have. I'm going to go back to the photos tab and drag and drop the photo that I wish to use. Perfect. Now I'm going to go over to add text, drag and drop this icon onto the page, type in what I wanted to say. Now let's make this a little bit bigger just by moving the arrows and go over to the top. I'm going to now change the font to make it a little bit more classy. By rolling over any of the font names, it will automatically change it for you. I'm going to select, I believe, Pinion Script. Now, I'm going to make it bigger. Again, just roll over the sizes. Let's choose 38, click. And now I'm going to adjust the color. So I know I want to move this over to the top left, so I'm going to need it to be a little bit lighter for me to see it. I can choose from any of these swatches, or a really cool feature is to use my cursor as a color picker. So by moving it around anywhere on the page, it's going to pick up the color that I am over. To select it, just click. Now I'm going to move this over to the left, and that looks perfect. Let me see if there's any art I might want to add. So let's click the art tab. I might want to put a flower in here. So let's see what's available. And I like this one here. So let's drag it onto our page and bring it down a little bit in size. Let's rotate it a little bit and put it in this corner. You'll notice that the part that goes over the wrap gets a little bit lighter. Let's place it right there. Double click this and take a look at what it will look like once printed. And I'm very happy with the way that looks. So 
Let's add to cart. I am now prompted to save my work. So type in the name and save as new project. At any time while building your project, you can always save by clicking the save button located next to the add to cart button. It is now launching a final preview of your product before you send off to print. Let's now take one final look at our project, double check spelling, let's look at the sides, make sure nothing went over, give it a good spin, and one more. And if in case you have to go back to the builder to change anything, click the edit button, and you can also press the share button, and here you can share with friends from Facebook, email, or Twitter. I'm ready to add to cart, confirm I have double checked my work, and it now brings me to the recipient page. This is where I choose where I'm going to send my project. Right now I have myself selected. I can also select others that are saved in my address book. You can also add a new recipient. On the right hand side is where you adjust quantity. Let's hit continue and I now see a matching items window. If I select build it under any of these products, they will load using the same template I have just used for my canvas. I'm just going to make the canvas for now, so let's select the X. And now I'm in my cart. Here I can see the details of my product. From the drop down, I can go back to preview, edit the quantity I can remove from cart, or change and add recipients. I'm ready to check out. And on the left hand side, fill in my information. Now, I already have my information saved in my profile, so by checkmarking this box, it will autofill the forms for me. On the right hand side, I'm going to be placing in all of the credit card information. When I'm ready, I'm going to place order. And that's all for now. Check out some of the other videos and I'll talk to you soon.